Hello everybody, Harold of McClatchy Insurance Agency. And today I'm gonna to talk about a fun topic to me and many others is bikes. So bikes encompasses a lot of things, right? Motorbikes, electric bikes, and your traditional bicycle. For insurance, where it gets kind of interesting is how they are covered in liability and property if something happens or if you're involved in an accident. Two of these are really easy. But one, electric bikes is kind of an emerging trend. So I want to talk a little bit about that today and how that works with your insurance so you can protect yourself, your family, and what you've worked for. So I'll start with what's on my left, motorcycles. So when you insure a motorcycle, you do it through companies that specialize in that, which we have several, Foremost, Progressive, and a few others. And they're a lot like an auto policy. Because they're licensed for the street, they're treated like a motor vehicle, just like a car, and you do get some accessories coverage for things like saddlebags. But other than that, they're very similar. So you can buy insurance from a lot of places. It's reasonable and coverage is solid. With your bicycle here, that's covered under your home policy. So if your children are riding a bicycle and were involved in an accident or you were, your bike and the injuries caused couldn't be covered. Very easy. But where it gets a little difficult is electric bikes. Because on your home policy, motorized vehicles, with some exceptions to golf carts and special requests, are not covered unless you ask for it. And some won't do it. Also, you have to look at, there are three classes of electric vehicle. One, two, and three are based on power output and how they operate. So you want to kind of take a look at that and say, what am I buying and where am I going to use it? Children riding around on scooters people buying mountain bikes that they're using off-road, competition use, are all things that you have to look at that are not covered by your homeowner's policy, including theft. So if your electric bike happens to be stolen, you could really be out quite a bit of money. So we've talked about bicycles, home policy. We've talked about motorcycles, auto policy. And with electric bikes, those differences. One of the most notable things is these are not registered to operate on the street either. So you cannot, like a moped, get them covered on a motorcycle policy. So I would encourage you to make sure you're asking these questions when you're looking for an electric bike purchase. There are companies that specialize in it. We know of a few and can assist in that, but I encourage you to make sure you're considering those options, where you're gonna operate them and who, and know your local laws. So that when you're out and ready to have fun on your electric bike, you can enjoy it with the peace of mind that you know if something happens or it were stolen, you're gonna be covered. So that's it for today. Harold Newbill, McClatchy Insurance, providing you insight and solutions to your insurance. Have a great day.